You have to know that humans have been using fossil fuels for a very long time. Coal, oil, natural gas, propane, diesel, or other stuff. What does fossil fuel even mean? It means fossil fuel. Fuels that come from ancient fossils. Fossils that come from animals and plants. Creatures in the ocean or on land. Anything that died in history, it could be in the water or on land, remained on earth. You know that bacteria attack any dead body. The bacteria eat whatever they can and the remains is left on the ground. The remains that was left on the ground stayed for millions of years and it entered the earth's crust. And today that fossil has turned into fossil fuels. The most famous fossil fuel that everybody knows and loves is oil. The first oil drill happened in 1859 in the state of Pennsylvania. This oil drill didn't really have value because they didn't really know what they could use this stuff for. They would pull around 3,000 liters of oil a day and it was kind of worthless because there was not a lot of buyers. They would turn it into kerosene and use it for old lamps. But today, 90 million barrels of oil a day is pulled out of the ground. There's a question now. What does the Persian Gulf have that there's so much oil in there? Was it a jungle? Did the dinosaurs live here? All these are wrong. Millions of years ago, the entire Middle East was underwater. But there was a lot of places that was underwater. Why don't they have oil? Because the Persian Gulf was a special place that pulled everything towards it. Millions of years ago, the Persian Gulf was considered a basin. And that means anything that was in the water would be headed that way because a basin is kind of considered like a bowl. So everything is attracted that way. And that is why most of the fossil fuels like natural gas and oil is located in the Persian Gulf. Different parts of the world had this situation happen and now they have fossil fuels. So if you get away from the Persian Gulf, you could say there's a lot of oil around Venezuela and Canada and the United States. We can't talk about the whole world, but we can put an example on Venezuela. This place, just like the Persian Gulf, was underwater and it was also considered a basin. Venezuela was located in an area where all the bacteria, algae, plants, fishes, and any corpse was headed that way. And it was kept on the ground in that area. And that is why Venezuela, with more than 300 billion barrels of oil, has the biggest oil reserve in the world. After Venezuela, it's Saudi Arabia, which is around 266 billion barrels. These are oil that are very easy to access and you can pull them out for a very low price. But there's another type of oil that it's between the rocks and pulling it out is a lot more expensive. The process of pulling oil in between rocks or sands and dirt is called fracking or it's also considered hydraulic fracturing. Fracking is not as easy as it looks and it's not cheap to do either. If oil prices are low, it's not even worth it to do fracking because pulling shale oil by fracking, it's around $50 a barrel. To pull oil in between rocks in the crust of earth, first, they insert a type of liquid that's mostly water and it puts pressure on the rocks and cracks them. After that, oil or natural gas can be pulled out from it. But the cost to pull out oil in the Persian Gulf is only around 10 to $20 a barrel. Before the US could start fracking, they were dependent on the Persian Gulf oil and they had to buy it from them. 
but with fracking, they could get their own oil. But each barrel has to cost more than $50, so it's worth to do all this work. You could say Canada has a lot of oil, and it's very similar to Venezuela. But Venezuela has very easy accessible oil. Canada's oil has to be pulled from rocks and sand. And that is why Canada is not on the list with the most oil reserve. So why does the US and Canada have oil in between the rock? Or Venezuela and Persian Gulf is very easy accessible oil. Because the age of the fossil fuels in Canada and the US are a lot lower than the Persian Gulf and Venezuela. Scientists say if you wait a couple million years, Canada and the US oil is gonna be like Venezuela or the Persian Gulf. But obviously they're not gonna wait because they're very impatient. Since the day I went to school, they were saying that in 30 years, there would be no oil left. But this 30 years is not moving, and they're always saying 30 more years. The more we move forward, the more oil we find, and the reserves get bigger and bigger. But the more we move forward, our need for oil is less and less. And the main reason is the environment. They say fossil fuel is causing global warming. Right now, they want to lower the use of oil and focus on natural gas. And that's another fossil fuel, but with very low emissions. You have to know that the cleanest fossil fuel in the world is natural gas. And getting a hold of it is just like oil. You could use natural gas for everything as well. Anything you can make with oil, you could make with natural gas. Like for example, plastic. As you know, we're going towards electricity. So the main usage of power is gonna be electricity soon. And natural gas has a very important role in this situation. The technology is moving towards jet engines that create electricity. Just like this jet engine. And it's called a gas turbine. It uses natural gas and it creates a lot of electricity. And the cool part is that the exhaust that gives the heat makes steam and that creates electricity. Nowadays, jet engines aren't only in the skies, but they're creating electricity on the ground. Electricity that comes from natural gas and the exhaust heat creates electricity as well. 